go guys uh my running kid back again for your opinion spot top 10 top 10 of my top 50 favorite female video game characters here we go guys this is it for the top 10 who's it gonna be so let's kick it off Number 10, we move back to the world of Darkstalkers, and none other than the Catwoman herself, Felicia. Um, I always dug Felicia more than Morgan. I like Morgan, but she's not in my top 50. Um, she would probably be, she's in my top 100, but she's not in my top 50. I always dug Felicia a little bit more, her attitude, her, her she's just enthusiastic spirit. I loved it. Number nine on my list. We're back to the world of Mass Effect, and we got a tie here once again. Uh, and I'm talking about the two Asari beauties, Asari warriors, Brain and Warrior, the Yara Tassoni and Samara, the Justicar. Card. I loved both of them. Uh, at first, you know, it took a little time for me to get used to. Liara, when playing the first game, you know, she kind of came off like, you know, oh, oh my god, this and that, you know, and by the time she came to the second game, she totally switched, and in the third, she became a full package. Samara was definitely one of those characters to me that, you know, she, she, she looked like she had a heart of stone, but you actually see she did care, and she did love and you know when you see things like that with her especially when she had to kill her own daughter and things like that it was just like you know how are you not talking about it but over time you saw her really truly have a friendship with Shepard and even at one point you can even say maybe even a, a potential love interest as well so we move on to number eight on the list and number eight, we're back to Capcom, and we've seen many women from this franchise on the list, but this time around, pretty much technically, in a sense, the first, well, technically not, because uh, that would be Rebecca Chambers, but I'm talking about none, the one, the only, Miss Jill Valentine. Uh, she makes number eight. I love Jill. I respect her. I love her attitude, her strength. Um, it it always it threw me for a world because I'm I'm a fan of the fifth game and I like the sixth game, but it threw me for a very big loop in the fifth game where they made it as if Jill died and that really nearly broke my heart seeing that I was like, how did that how did that happen? Capcom, tell me you didn't just kill her off game. But to find out what happened and to see her alive again, it, it was just really good to see. Jill, to me, will always be one of the females, the heart of the Resident Evil series. And I love her for that. I, I really do. Um, yeah. So next up, once again, we're back to the Mass Effect world. I'm telling you guys, yo. The ladies of the Mass Effect world are just so popular and so, they're just full package. And this time for number seven, we're going to none other than uh, Miranda Lawson, who at first was a Cerberus operative, and then she became pretty much, she, was a, she could be a potential love interest, she became one of your great allies. And at first, yeah, I wasn't really liking Miranda at first. You know, I thought she was coming off a little too bitchy at times. I'm like, this girl's a bitch. I can't stand her. But she puts up walls, barriers. And when you're able to break down those barriers and get to know her better, then you can understand why she does it. But you can understand, you can also see that she has a heart. She has, she has a, she has a uh, personality that uh, is very, very different in a sense, but 
you can understand it and you can understand her passion for whatever is in front of her and her goals and that was something that I, I loved about Miranda um, as a character and for number six we are back to the world of Mortal Kombat and it'd be I'd be crazy not to have this girl on my list um, for me she's up in the top 10 because not just because she's the first lady of Mortal Kombat but she proves now time and time again that just as much as Kitana and Jade and all of them that you know the ladies the females in the Mortal Kombat world are not just for the faint of heart you know they're not just beauties they have everything you would want brains brawn and beauty and with Sonya Blade which I've, I've always dug that name Sonya Blade she was the full package and um, I always dig the first lady of Mortal Kombat number five comes to my all-time favorite female in the Soul Calibur series and that's none other than my girl Taki uh, the ninja slash demon hunter um, Taki and I go way back guys very far back um, I first recognized her from Soul Edge the first game and when she came into the, the other games in the Soul Calibur games they just really showcased how deadly strong-willed and this woman is she's a beast she is so much what you would want in your in a very powerful full I'm trying to find a word to describe her more it's just not just badass but you get where I'm coming at from that um, it was just a shame to see Taki wasn't in the last Soul Calibur game she passed her teachings on to someone else but uh, yeah Taki definitely makes the list I love her uh, I love playing with her um, in the games she just has some great moves and uh, what would you expect from this badass demon hunter? Number four, once again, guys, Mass Effect. And I could not, not have this girl on my list. Tali. Vas, whatever you want to, you know, Vas Normandy, Vas Venona, you know. Oh, God, Tali. Tali definitely is another character that so much developed over the courses of the game. She went from this timid little Quarian to being in awe of the dashing captain, and then you just see her become a woman in the third game. And I think the relationship that she has with the crew, and of course with Shepard, was so much I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff guys you know and, and you know just seeing her relationship with Shepard just can you know it'll get you it'll, it'll pierce your heart guys and the, the fact that you know she she has so, she's so smart she's so smart that, that's another thing you, you you never really cared in a sense I wouldn't say you cared but you, you didn't really mind what she looked like underneath that mask so when they finally kind of revealed it you're you know Bioware please but you know it still was like she's still the same Tali that I love and respect that's pretty much it and number three goes to the first female of Street Fighter as well as the first female fighting games period um Miss Chung Lee the song she's got legs is made for this girl Chung Lee beauty brains 
wrong. This is a female you, in a sense, would want. You would want to fight by her side. She's considered the strongest woman in the world. Um, she's all legs, and every designer makes sure they put that on focus that she has those very powerful legs. And every interpretation, whether it's video games or comics or even anime, they always show her a woman of beauty, wits, brawn as well, but she mixes up those traits about her so well and they work for her and it works for me too it's a Lee. number two on the list is by far probably my favorite female of the Mass Effect universe and that's none other than Jack oh boy okay everybody should know I have a huge thing for Jack. Um, I I find Jack to be very cool and beautiful, even despite all the tattoos. I don't mind that. I like tattooed girls, and you know, Jack was a challenge. And I'm not even gonna, even though I would never do this, guys. But when I first played Mass Effect 2, when they showed her, I automatically gravitated towards her. Cause I was like, okay, who is this, and why is she so mean? Why is she what? Why is she putting up? You talk about Miranda with walls. Jack had walls. She had major, major walls with, 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 uh, with traps and you know, moats and everything to keep her from. You finally get to you know know who Jack is, and by the time you really keep talking to Jack and you, you understand her a little bit, then you start to see, okay, I can understand why you're angry. But I also see a woman behind that. A very powerful woman, but a woman, nonetheless. And by the third game, we saw that she had become something that she was afraid that she could never be. And Jack, for me, really was like that. And like I said, when I was saying about it, I, I would never do it, I would never cheat. But for my first Shepherd I ever made, I chose Jack over Ashley, I think. So it was kind of, but still, uh, Jack, definitely um, my favorite female of the Mass Effect universe. Uh, man, I can't lie. <laughs> and here we go, guys. Number one. Number one on the list of my favorite female video game characters goes to probably the female that started it all pretty much started it all Samus Aran one of the greatest bounty hunters ever <laughs> she is a mixture of all the great powerful females in cinema as well as literature that you can find and let's face it guys, if you played the first Metroid and you beat it, like yours truly here, tell me the reveal that she was female didn't shock you in a good way, because it sure did me. When I found out that this person in this armor was female, I was like, wow, cool, not, what the hell, female? Nah. I was like, wow. And that's why Samus makes number one. In one point. But, other than that, guys, um, that's it. My top 50 favorite female characters. Please respect my list, guys. Perhaps I'll do another top 50. Maybe I'll do the male side this time. But I wanted to be, I'm a gentleman, so I'm always going to do the ladies first. Uh... And once again, if there is anybody out there that has a topic that they want me to talk about on the opinion spot, don't feel free to message me with your topic, and I'm be gladly to take requests and, and talk about it. But um, I enjoyed this. I wanted to save the top ten a little longer. Didn't want to just throw it out there. But other than that, guys, this is Mom Vernon Kid saying peace, one love, stay tuned, keep well, guys. 
Take care.